Hello, how are we all doing today? It's a new week. It's looking like it's going to be a beautiful week in terms of weather and that really links into our words of the week this week because this week we are focusing on awe and wonder. Now this is a really special sort of phrase that we use in terms of acts of worship, in terms of our relationship with God and it's something that you might not fully understand but awe, let's break it down, awe, that sort of feeling that you get when you see something amazing, when you see something that's really powerful to you. It might be looking at a beautiful sunset, it might be like me when I go somewhere where there's mountains and it just takes my breath away. That's a feeling of awe. It can be something as simple as just gazing up at the stars in the sky as well. And then we have wonder. Wonder is curiosity. It's amazement. It's like, how is that happening? And when you put those two things together, it's really exciting because it, it sends you on sort of a journey of discovery. And of course, somebody who uh, helps us on that journey of discovery, someone who God sent to help us understand the awe and wonder that we have for God, was Jesus. And we welcome his presence now as we make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I ask you just to take a moment with me to stop and to pray. So whether you put your hands together, put your head on the desk, look at the candle on the screen, however you can take that moment to stop and think, I ask you to join me in that now. Dear God, thank you for the incredible world you have created. Open our hearts and minds to feel awe and wonder at your works. Help us to see the beauty and greatness in everything around us and to appreciate your presence in our lives. Guide us as we explore and understand your word today. Amen. So our scripture today is going to come from a book called the Book of Psalms. Uh, Psalms are like songs. They're a collection of songs. They're a collection of poems. It's an Old Testament reading. And we think they were probably written by King David. What the Psalms are brilliant for is expressing a range of emotions, a range of experiences from joy and praise, all the way through to sorrow, angry, anguish and grief. So when we're looking at the term awe and wonder, there is going to be something in the Psalms that we can find. So this is a reading from the book of Psalms. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them, yet their voice goes out into all the earth their words to the ends of the world, the world of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So imagine, imagine you're standing outside and it's night time. You're looking up at the sky. Have you ever just felt that overwhelming sense of amazement when you look out and you can see countless stars that, and they're just twinkling at you? And that's what that psalm was talking about. The heavens means the sky and everything beyond it. And it shows us all the glory of God. They're not using words, but the beauty and the vastness speaks volumes about God's love, God's greatness. And that's awe and wonder. When you look at the world around you, it might be the tiniest flower. It might be the biggest of mountains, but you can you look at it and it just takes your breath away. You can see some marvelous work has gone into creating it. Every sunrise, every sunset, every ocean wave if you're at the beach, all the animals, all the plants, they're reminders of how awesome, how amazing our world is. Now, awe and wonder don't just have to be about those massive things though that I'm talking about. You can find them in the tiny things too. Have you ever looked at a spider's web? and just looked at the beauty, the intricacy, the pattern in that and wondered how a spider works to spin that web. They're beautiful, especially in the winter when they've got frost on them. I hate spiders, but I can appreciate the beauty in that spider's web. Think about how we work. You run, you jump, I'm talking at you, waving my arms around right now. That's incredible. How does that happen? And that's all a wonder. It helps me remember as a Christian that God's with us, that God designs things that are beautiful, things that work. He 
it shows me his power, it shows me his love. It makes me grateful for what we have. But regardless of your religion or, or thoughts about faith, I think we can all appreciate the beauty and the design in things. So the next time you're outside, the next time you're looking out your window, or, or the next time you, you see something that just goes, whoa, just take a moment to stop and appreciate it and to say thank you for it. That's all in wonder. Let's bring our prayers before God. For the world and all its beauty, that we may always see and appreciate the wonder of God's creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For scientists, artists, and all who help understand and appreciate the world, that they may continue to be inspired by God's creativity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are feeling lost or overwhelmed, that they may find comfort in the awe and wonder of God's presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for our community, that we may grow in our ability to see God's hand in everything and be filled with gratitude and joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So this week our mission's a bit different. Normally it's about our actions towards other people. This week I want you to stop and focus on yourself. I want you to challenge, to challenge you to live out the theme of awe and wonder. And the way I want you to do it is every single day, take a moment just to stop and look around you. Notice something amazing. It could be something in nature. It could be a kind act from a friend. It could just be watching the way the clouds move and just taking a moment Write it down or talk to somebody about it. Maybe you could all share these moments with your form teachers in school every day. What have you noticed? What have you seen that's just given you a moment where you've gone, how is that happening? Okay, and that is gonna help us appreciate the world around us. Thank you for joining us today. Let's end as we began by making the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now go get out there, look at the sky now, the clouds, look at the stars tonight. Let's appreciate some magic. Have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye.